Hello and welcome to this Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at some basics on how to use Camera Raw to edit your images. There are some really cool features and even if your camera does not support the raw format, we can still use that option or filter in Photoshop. I've uploaded a variety of portrait headshots so you can use an image that stands out most to you. Once you've decided on the image, go ahead and drag and drop it into the Photoshop interface. Before we begin editing, since I have provided so many images, I want you to save a before image. First, let's just look at the image size. We want to resize this by going to Image, Image Size, and I want you to select Inches, and you can keep the resolution at 72 dpi if that's what it opens with. And I want the max height to be 14 inches, and click OK. Fit to screen with Command-0. And now we're going to do a file, save a copy, navigate to your exercise directory, and give it a title such as this one, and include headshot before in the file name. We want to save this as a JPEG. And I also want you to save the Photoshop file by going to File, Save As, and Photoshop Format, PSD. Now that we have our Photoshop file saved and a before JPEG, we're going to duplicate this layer by dragging it to the plus sign or Command J. With that top layer selected, go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, where that shortcut is Shift Command A. And this is going to open a Camera Raw window where you'll find a variety of settings that will allow us to quickly make edits in a non-destructive way. So for instance, here in Edit, one of the first things you may want to do is click the Auto button, which will help balance out the highlights, midtones, and shadows. You can adjust the temperature, and you can see how these settings have updated with the Auto feature. There are all sorts of settings here, which you can explore. Noise reduction is really great depending on the image quality. And you can see as I adjust the slider, how the texture of our skin looks like this. And as I increase noise reduction, you can see it gets softer. So it's nice that you can play with these sliders and adjust if you need to refine further. But sometimes it's easier to look at some presets or photo filters. And you can find that under the presets, which are these two circles overlapping. And you can see that I have a section of favorites where I have saved some of these filters as my favorites, and I can access those presets much more quickly. As you hover over the presets, you may see this loading icon, and you may need to give Photoshop some time to load in those settings. But you can see right away, as I hover over the presets, that we can preview the presets very quickly. So like this black and white is really quite beautiful. And you can see how those adjustments change the style and the mood of the image. And it's nice that we have a variety of different skin tones. We've got black and white, we've got seasons, and some other specific styles. So I want you to explore some of those. And you can see when we do click on one of the presets, we have a slider for how much of that preset we want to include. And you can click and use multiple of the presets. So if there's a combination that you end up liking, you can save that as a new preset right here by clicking Create Preset. And when you save that preset, it's going to go in this User Presets section. So if you move to another computer, you're not going to be able to carry over those presets. Once you're happy with this, you can click OK, or you can cancel if you completely want to reset and go through the filters again. But let's go with one of these black and whites and click OK. And now we have a new layer with that camera filter applied. So I want you to save out at least a couple of images where you've explored some of the camera raw settings. More specifically, what I want to show you on this one is the eye enhancement. Once you select that preset and we use the slider, you can see if we increase this too much, it's not going to look very realistic. So try to find something that's a good balance that enhances the image but doesn't look too fake. We want it to look natural. And if you click on one of these presets, you can go back to the main sliders and continue to edit. So it's nice that you can move back and forth to edit the image. So I'm going to click OK, and it may take a little bit to load, and go to File, Save a Copy, and you can just add a hyphen and 
a number after headshot. So I can tell the difference between the two options that you've edited. And after you've used the filter, you can also continue to edit within Photoshop. Another really cool feature within Camera Raw is the ability to mask your image. If you go to this dashed circle or mask icon, M shortcut, we can select our subject. And now we can either modify the selected subject or we can inverse the selection by clicking on those three dotted lines, invert mask. And we can edit just the background or adjust the subject. And just click OK when you're finished. Another feature you may want to use within Camera Raw is that while you're making edits, this little icon here that looks like a square, you can click on this to compare your edits from before and after. And you can toggle between so if you have more of a horizontal image, you may want to use this view. So I hope you enjoyed learning about Camera Raw. There's really an incredible amount of flexibility you can use to really enhance your images in a dynamic way and very quickly. Thanks for watching and see you next time.